Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is April Gibbs and I'm here reporting live in Philadelphia. And today our mission is to talk about St. Paul, also known as Saul of Tartus. A Roman citizen, a man at first that seemed to set out on a mission to destroy and persecute Christians. But in the long run, he came to see God on his road to Damascus. Saul or St. Paul was born to Jewish parents in Tartus, known as modern day Turkey. He grew up studying Tur the Torah in Jerusalem. And his mission was to persecute followers of Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth in, Jer in Jerusalem and Judea. On Saul's way to Damascus to persecute as many Christians as he could it was his time of conversion God came to him and said Saul Saul why do you persecute me and at that moment God shined a bright light and Saul heard his voice and fell to his knees and at that moment Saul was converted and On Saul's way to Damascus to persecute as many Christians as he could, it was his time of conversion. God came to him and said, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? And at that moment, God shined a bright light and Saul heard his voice and fell to his knees. And at that moment, Saul was converted. After his conversion, he spent three years in Arabia and afterwards he returned to Damascus to preach the word of Jesus, the Messiah. He eventually flees Damascus because of persecution. He visits Jerusalem and meets the apostles. Paul then teaches in Tarsus and the surrounding regions and is then invited by Barnabas to teach in Antioch. And from then, um, they visit Jerusalem to help bring support to the famine. And they then go on to their first missionary journey uh, to Cyprus. Uh, then Paul takes about three missionary journeys throughout Asia Minor and other uh, and around the region and again briefly back to Jerusalem where he interacts with Peter and other apostles and later on he writes the book of Romans and is a, is then perse starts to be persecuted and imprisoned um, and then Paul takes about three missionary journeys throughout Asia Minor and other uh, and around the region and again briefly back to Jerusalem where he interacts with Peter and other apostles after after Peter returns to Jerusalem he is arrested and once he's arrested, he files for an appeal before Festus and appears to Caesar. He then voyages to Rome. In Rome, he's under house arrest where he writes the letters of Philippians, Ephesians, Col Colossians, and Philemon. Philemon? Philem oh my God. After after Peter returns to Jerusalem he is arrested and once he's arrested he files for an appeal before Festus and appears to Caesar he then voyages to Rome in Rome he's under house arrest where he writes the letters of Philippians Ephesians Col Colossians he is said to have had been released um, once he's released, he writes the letters of Timothy and Titus.
and he returns to Rome where he is eventually martyred. And that's the voyage of the life of St. Paul. And here in Philadelphia is where St. Paul is honored with the Cathedral of St. Peter Paul Basilica here in Philadelphia downtown. And it's one of the most beautiful churches and houses of God that you could enter. And that's the life and time and present of St. Paul. Thank you.